it's Beth here from Artbase and today I'm going to show you how to paint this lovely colourful pelican. Um, it's a slightly shorter tutorial than normal um, but that's because we just wanted to give you a little taster of the kind of thing we'll be doing in our club. So let's get started. Um, so today for this uh, class you're going to need um, lots of lovely colours. Um, so on my palette we've got all the hot colours, red, yellow and orange. Uh, I've got a black and a white and then a blue or a turquoise, a purple and a green. And then this colour here is a yellow ochre. So it's um, if you don't have a yellow ochre, it's not the most common colour, but you can make it from yellow and a little bit of brown. So once you've got your paints ready, uh, we'll get our pencil and we'll start sketching him out. So I'll pop him over there. And we'll start sketching, um, we'll start at the top and we'll just start sketching the top of his head. So we want to go really close to the top of our page, just slightly over from the centre. So I'm going to do this big curve, like a rainbow, to start with, like that. And then what we'll do on this side, I want to do a line that comes from the end of this curve and it's going to come almost in a straight line all the way down to the bottom corner of our page so really long beak okay and you can see the line sort of goes in sort of and out just a little bit okay and then I want to um, come back up, so we're going to curve the end and we're going to bring the line back up and slightly out a little bit and just make sure you do little sketchy lines until you're happy uh, with, the, with the basic shape and then you can rub out easily if you've just pressed lightly. So I'm coming up and then I'm going to, probably about a third of the way up, I'm going to just bring my line back in a little bit and it's going to curve around until we get level with the top of the beak just there. And then we've got a little curved line that comes back in about halfway, so half the distance. And then this one is going to be a little point on it, so like a little triangle. So that's the basic shape of the beak. Uh, the body is super easy, so it's just going to curve round and we're going to bring it back down, parallel almost with the beak. And then once we get about halfway down, we're going to curve it out and bring it back around to the edge of the paper. Take it off all the way. And then we'll pop a little line here just the body so a little way up the beak if you were to continue it um, it would be sort of from the top of the head so you could just continue it down and then you roughly know where to put that line and then the only other little bit of drawing that we need to do is we're going to pop mirror this sort of triangular shape like that and this is where our eye is going to be so inside that we'll do another like a curve and then underneath so your basic eye shape and then a little line that goes from the one edge curve it round to the other side we'll leave a gap and the same on the other side so it's like a circle inside that completely fills that eye shape and then we can do a big circle inside and my big circle is going to touch the top just there like that okay so there we have it, our lovely, our basic shape of our lovely pelican. So now we can start painting. So we'll do the background first of all. And for this, we're going to be really use quick sort of expressive brush strokes. And I'm using a big brush, so the biggest brush you have. And I'm going to start off with, I've got my turquoise. Now you can really choose whatever colors you want for the background. Um, you could do a bright orange or um, a bright pink or a purple and you can see I've got lots of movements in my brush strokes 
and I'm not being really careful taking it right to the edge I do need to be a little bit careful around my pelican so you, you might want to just slow down a little bit and I'm not painting it all turquoise I've got quite a lot of um, white space still so just take that paint out might do a little bit of blue as well I'm adding a little bit of blue um, with my turquoise they're very similar in shade to be honest um, and I'm going to add a little bit of yellow as well so where that yellow just in a few little sections just blend it in and we get sort of a nice greeny colour okay so we'll end up with a nice mixture of blue turquoise yellow and green and again you can choose the colours you want obviously just make sure that they mix nicely together they blend nicely or you could just do it one colour one flat colour entirely up to you you can choose um, so I'll pop a little bit more yellow down here and I think we'll stick to the blue just directly next to the beak and that's because we're going to go quite yellowy with the beak so we'll keep the blue next to the beak so that it stands out against the background okay so once you've done your lovely backgrounds um, we can now start working on our pelican okay so I'll put my big brush away for now um, I'm going to go to a slightly uh, larger brush as well. This is just a flat brush. You can use a round brush. It really doesn't matter. But again, we're painting quite big areas at the moment, so we can we can stay with our big brushes. So I'm going to start off with the top of our pelican's head, and I'm just going to take a quite a big scoop of yellow, and we'll just paint the top of his head yellow to start with. So, and then we continue that yellow down the neck and I'm going to take it to about three quarters of the way down the neck. Okay, like that. Okay, so I'll leave that to dry just for a moment um, and we'll come and start working on the beak. So I'm going to just pop some yellow. Well, I've got yellow on my brush. I'm going to do a big background sort of base of yellow on my beak as well. And I'm not being super neat, it's just a bit of a background and it's just on this side, so about three quarters of the width, just on this side with our yellow. Um, and then I'm going to go into my yellow ochre now and we're going to just pop some little streaks of yellow ochre just coming through the beak. So taking it through that yellow, just a little bit of yellow ochre like that. So not completely covering all of the yellow ochre, but just a few little streaks just running through. Okay, and then what I'm going to do next is get a little bit of my turquoise, just the tiniest bit on the tip of my brush and we're just going to blend a little bit of turquoise just in a few little spaces, not a lot, like that. And then I'm going to wipe my brush, go into my white and just knock it back a little bit. So I've got this sort of green sort of tint. And blend it in with my yellow ochre and my yellow a little bit. Okay, so we've got these tints of colour coming through. It's just much more interesting than just painting it one flat colour. And then once we get to this edge here, I'm going to go into my white and we're going to paint this front part of our beak white. And we can blend it back into the other colours a little bit. So all the way up 
to the eye and blending it back in. And it's best to do this whilst the paint is wet because if the paint dries, really tricky um, to blend. So, so just um, do it whilst the paint's wet. And if your paint dries, you might just need to add a little bit more yellow ochre to your brush. Okay, so we'll leave that to dry just for a moment before we add any more and we'll come back to the neck now. So I'm going to start adding a little bit of orange. Okay, and we're going to work up the neck and I need to add a little bit more yellow to my brush because the yellow has dried now. So just keep dipping into that yellow just to help blend it in with the orange like that and you will end up with sort of a nice orangey yellow tone and just keep working back up keep dipping into your yellow working back up your neck and then I'll come back to my orange and we'll take the orange down to the bottom of the neck okay and just work it back up into that yellow a little bit help blend it in okay like that and then I want to add the tiniest little bit of red as well so you might want to swap to a slightly smaller brush or if you're happy with your brush so I just want a little tiny bit of red just down the edge of his neck like that so it's a slightly darker shade and then just blend it out into our yellow okay and then I'm going to just again stay with my red I'm just going to pop a few little red little dashes over the top but just hardly any paint on your brush just to give it a little bit of texture and just work up that neck just Still, I'm not painting all of it, I'm just creating sort of a little bit of a feathery. And also you can wipe the red off and go into your orange, use a little bit of orange as well. And then we'll just add some little feathers just around the top of his head. Okay, so we're not completely covering all the yellow. We still want to see lots of that yellow coming through, but it's just a, a feathering him up a bit, just making him look a bit more fluffy. Okay, so once we've done that, um, I'm going to put my um, brush in some water, give it a little wash, or I might swap my brush actually. We'll go for a, a slightly, um, I'm going for a round brush, I think this time. Okay, so, once we've done this, we're going to start working on our feathers and then we'll come back and add a few more details to this section. So with the feathers, the best thing to do is to do a white base first of all. So we're just going to add a little bit of white and it might be a bit tricky to see at the moment because obviously I'm painting white onto white. In fact, I might, it might be better to swap to a slightly larger brush for this just to get the white on the base. So, and I'm, for this, I'm actually using a mixture of white acrylic and a little bit of white ready mix just to help the acrylic flow because we do want the white to be quite strong in this painting. But if you've just got ready mix, that will be fine as well. So, nice again, nice quite quick brush strokes. Just getting a little bit of a white base on. I'm going to just work up into the neck just a little bit, crisscrossing my brush strokes. And then we're just going to flick a few little lines coming out, just fluffing him up a little bit. So just little flicky lines, different directions. Okay. Now, once we've done that, we can dip into our blues and our purples. But the important thing is, and that's probably too much, so just wipe it off and we can start adding some lovely blue feathers. 
and because the white is still wet it's blending really nicely and it's just creating these lovely light blue feathers and again take them slightly out okay so we can we'll build them up gradually so we'll do some blue ones and we could do a few green ones and it might be better to swap to a smaller brush at this point if you wanted to so just flicking them through different directions longer ones shorter ones and I'm going to do some turquoise and some blue and I'm also going to add a few little purple ones in as well okay so building it up very gradually now when you um, introduce your purple again just tiny little bits on your brush and I'm I'm barely touching the paper just sort of flicking it through just be aware that purple and green when they mix together they go a bit yucky so just to try and just be careful when you're adding the purple and you've got a little bit of green so I'm building it up so I've added some purple now and once I've done that I'm actually going to go back to my white and work another layer of white over the top and this just helps bring them all together and add a few more little tones and we're really making him look feathery and fluffy and go right to the edge of your paper okay so we've got this lovely fluffy body now and we'll carry on up the neck and we're going to add some little feathers working up the neck so flicking them out you can see I'm curving some round some are just curving up in the other direction coming outside our pencil line crisscrossing them maybe shorter ones longer ones and we'll bring them down to the top of his head as well so pop some in the top of his head and a few just down the side of his neck like that and we can just add maybe a hint of color into some of them but I wouldn't go too colorful keep them mainly white okay so maybe a, t a couple of purple ones and a few little blue ones and then it just helps to tie it in with the body okay so now you've got his lovely fluffy feathers on his head might do some that are slightly longer as well quite like the odd long one okay we will go back to his beak so give our brush a little wash and um, I'm going to go to my turquoise or my blue and just wipe the water off so we haven't got lots of water on our brush as well just and so it doesn't make our paint go really watery so I'm just with this nice vibrant blue or turquoise you can paint around his eye so in this section here so slightly smaller brush now so you can be a little bit more careful in your painting and also whilst we've got the turquoise on I'm going to just pop a little bit of a, a turquoisey blue streak through his beak as well and it's not a perfect line or a perfect shape it's just a little bit of um, blue and a little bit down here as well okay maybe just a tiny bit there okay so a little bit of blue I'm going to wash my brush again um, and we're getting a little bit more detailed so again let's keep keep to a smaller brush if you've got one um, we're going to make um, a brown next so to make a brown you can just do a little bit of orange a dab of black and just keep adding your black one tiny dab at a time until you're happy and then just going to paint that eye brown to start with doesn't matter if you go over this circle in the middle because that's going to go that's going to be a black 
um, and then I'm going to just dip my brush, wipe my wipe my brown, dip my brush into the orange. And we're just going to add, make these little bits orange just here in the corners, like that, and then. We're going to add a little bit of black. So wipe your brush, just very small amounts of black on the tip of your brush and really slow and really careful, not pressing hard so you can get that nice point. And then we're just going to paint that pupil black. I'm going to try and leave a little white highlight if you can. And then whilst we've got the black, we're just going to do a little bit of outlining. So just with the tip of our brush, just a little bit round the eye, um, around this blue section. You don't have to outline the whole thing. You can just do sort of broken lines. So just a little bit of outlining, take it round the beak back up and I'm just trying to just do it with the tip of my brush so the line's really nice and thin. You can do this with oil pastels as well if you, you didn't have a very small brush and you weren't confident about getting, getting that line. So a little bit around this section. Okay. And I might just pop a couple of little lines coming running down the front of the beak like that and then we can just add maybe the odd one or two not too many little black feathers but I wouldn't go too mad with those okay so we've got our lovely painting finished and then the last thing I want to do is we're going to add some lovely splats in the background just to create a little bit more movement and just to bring the background um, in with the, the colours in the pelican. So for this we'll keep it really simple, you just get um, about a teaspoonful or, or maybe even less of water in a little pot. Take a big scoop of whatever colour you want, so I'm going to do probably a little bit of white and maybe a little bit of orange. Okay, so mix up those paints until you get a nice watery solution. And then we'll do this very carefully, no flicking your brush, because that will go everywhere. And we just need to make sure that your screens are protected and out of the way. And then just with one finger, you can just add a few little splats and you can guide those splats around where you want to put them. So I might just do some white ones and I'm going to pick up on that orange in the neck. So I'm going to just do water, a scoop of paint to get my watery solution and then just gently tapping just one finger, never flicking because that will end up all over the walls. Okay, and we'll just add our lovely orange splats as well. And there you have it. One beautiful, colorful pelican.